Hello and welcome to the tutorial on more than and less than. In this tutorial we're going to do tens with numbers up to 1000. So tens numbers up to 1000. Let's have a look at our first example. Suppose we have this number 397. Now we can label the digits. We've got the units, tens, and the hundreds. So let's have it. Let's look at 10 more. We'll work on the right hand side. What is 10 more than 397? 10 more than 397. Now the number 10, the 0 is the units and the 1 is the tens. Let's write the number down here, 397. Are we going to go forwards or backwards? We're going to count forwards because we're doing more than. Now the units, because that is a 0, this unit here, the 7, is not going to change. So we can write that down. As for the tens, we've got 9. This has to go forward by 1. So what do we write down? What is 1 more than 9? It is 10. What we're going to do is we're going to put 0 here, and let's put a little 1 here. This is 1 we have to add on. As for the 3, the hundreds, well this doesn't change here because we are not adding anything to it. So the 3 remains the same. But the 3 has to be added to the 1. That becomes 4. So 10 more than 397 is 407. That was quite easy, wasn't it? Let's have a look at 10 less than. So let's start on this side. 10 less than 397. First, let's write the number down, 397. Are we going to count forwards or backwards? Well, now we're doing less than, so therefore we are counting backwards. Now, the units here, 7, is not going to change because we're going back by 0. So the 7 remains 7. As for the tens, the 9, that is going to go back by 1. So 9 going back, counting back by 1 is 8. As for the 3, well, the 3 is not going back by anything, and that remains as 3. So 10 less than 397 is 387. Now have a look at the way we work that out. 10 more than and 10 less than. Let's work through one more example. Suppose now we have the number 603. We've got 603. So on this side we're going to do 10 more than. What is 10 more than 603? Again, let's write the number down, 603. Are we going to count forwards or backwards? We're doing more than, so therefore we're going to count forwards. The 3 is not going to change because we're going forward by 0. As for the 10s, the 0 is going to go forward by 1. 0 and the 1 are both 10s. So the 0 going forward by 1 is 1. And as for the hundreds, the 6, well, it's not going forward by anything, so the 6 remains a 6. 10 more than 603 is 613. Nice and easy. Now let's look at 10 less than. What is 10 less than 603? 
for this one we need to be a little bit careful. So let's write the number down, 603. Are we going to go f are we going to count forwards or backwards? Well, it's less than, so therefore we're going to count backwards. The first part, the units is quite easy. We got 3 and 0. So 3 minus 1 is sorry, 3 going back 0 is 3. I almost fell into the trap there. So that remains a 3. As for the tens, we've got 0. That has to go back by 1. Now we can't do that going back by 1. If you're doing simple subtraction, we would take the 6 from here. What we're going to do here instead is we're going to look at this number together, 60. So 60 has to go back by 1. Counting back from 60 is 59. Now that's another way of doing it. So 10 less than 603 is 593. Now that was quite easy. I'm just going to work through this one again, where we had 10 more than 397. Do you remember how we carried one here? Let's do it slightly differently. What we're going to do is, we're going to say, right, there's 397. We're going to go forwards because we're doing 10 more than. So 10 more than 397. Well, the 7 is not going to change because it's a 0. It's going forward by 0. Now, instead of splitting the, 30, the 3 and the 9 up, let's look at that together. The th and we look at it as 39. 39 has to go forward by 1. So 39 forward by 1 is 40. And that comes to the same answer as this one, 407. So there is more than one way to do this. But that is how we do more than and less than of tens with numbers up to 1,000.